Okie dokie. In this problem, they tell us we have a differential equation with the following equilibrium solutions. And they're kind of strange. They're very exact. They're uh, 2.45025, 3.98, so on, and then y equals 7. So we have three different equilibrium solutions. Then they tell us if we have this initial condition, which of the following are possible values for y at naught? So what we'll do first is just sketch relatively where these equilibrium solutions could be. So keep in mind these are all y values, so we'll say 2.45, and then we'll put 3.98, do some dashes there, and then we'll do 7 up here. And then when we plot this equilibrium solution, this is telling us that at t equals 0, we have a y value of approximately 3, or really 3.24, once we round. So then if we plot that as an ordered pair, 0, 3.24, we're really looking at, you know, somewhere in here as the initial point. So they're just asking if it's starting here, if it's starting here, then what are some possible values as this function as this initial condition that leads to our solution for this differential equation, um, what value could y at 9 be? The main idea is that as we go from left to right, this function can only be bounded between this 2.45 and 3.98. In other words, it could only be between those two values. It won't necessarily oscillate like this as if it were a sine or cosine curve, but maybe it does. Oh goodness, it doesn't do that. Maybe it does this where it approaches 2.45 but never crosses it, or maybe it does this. But the big idea is that it must be between 2.45 and 3.98. So we are just choosing the y values that are between those two y values. So 2.5 is between these two values, so that checks out. 4.8 is much greater than 3.98, so it's outside our window, so that cannot be the y value at 9. Then number 3, 3.88 is still in the window between 2.45 and 3.98, so that checks out. And that's how we go about that problem. So 1 and 3 are correct, so f is our answer in this case when we break out the eraser. All right, let's go ahead and do two more examples just for practice here. So we basically have 3, 5.5, and 6.2. wonder if that's too rounded. No, I think that should work. All right, so we're going to call it 3, 5.5, and 6.2. Whoa. 6.2. Alright, so I'll just use horizontal lines to represent the equilibrium solutions. Then they tell us the initial condition is the y value at 2.3 something, so 2.4 basically, which is way down here. So really, as long as these y values are less than the 3 equilibrium solution, then we should be okay. So Number one, 2.98 is less than 3. Number two, 2.6, less than 3. That works. And number three, 5.9 is much greater than 3. So it cannot be that one. So we are looking at 1 and 2 to be correct. Break out the eraser to see that E is our answer. Let's go ahead and do one more for practice. This is a fun one. We have square roots. It may help to know what not the square root of 3 is. I mean, of course, you could plug these into a calculator, so maybe I would suggest that if you want to get decimal. Um, or we could think about, actually, you know what, dealing with all these decimals, that is what I am going to suggest. Let's open up Desmos, wherever that is. Here we go. All right. Square root of 3 is 1.73, and then we have square root of 7. So we have... 1.73 and 2.65 once we round. 
and of course four for the last one. So let's plot these briefly. 1.7, we'll just use a straight line to represent the equilibrium solution, even though it's usually represented with a dashed line. Straight line is just faster. All right, so we have our three equilibrium solutions. We will have our initial condition at 3.29. So 3.2 should be somewhere in here. So we know that the function, the solution, should be bounded between the 2.65 and the 4. In other words, bounded between square root of 7 and y equals 4. So we're picking the y values in between those two. 3.3 checks out, so 1 is correct. Number 2, 13 is just ridiculously high. That is not between our two values. And then the 3.94 is very close to 4, but it's still less than 4, which satisfies what we're looking for. So we are finding the answer with 1 and 3 being correct. Break out the eraser to see that F is our answer.